it's Jess. Welcome back to my backyard for another video. So today I'm going to be doing some planting, you guys. I'm going to be working in the new bed that I just created a few weeks ago. We did just get a huge week of rain, you guys. It's literally been raining here for five days straight. The sun is just barely coming out, so it's kind of muggy out here, but it's nice and cool. So I want to go ahead and get the planting done while I can. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys the area, and then we'll just get right to work. All right, y'all, so here's the area I'm going to be working in. And as you guys can see, I have a couple new additions already. Off gate, the elephant in the room, I have this gorgeous bench sitting here that I picked up from the farmer's market. Y'all know I love the farmer's market. They were running a super deal. This one was already marked down half off, regular price. And then I think I got it 20 or 25% off on top of that. I can't even remember because I've been doing so much shopping, but I think it's gorgeous, you guys. I think it fits this space perfectly. Someone actually commented on my previous video when I was making this space that it would be nice to add some seating. And y'all, I swear y'all be reading my mind because I already had this bench purchased. I just am showing you guys things gradually as I develop the areas, but I just think it looks so pretty, you guys. I was really debating on getting a white bench for this space, but I just felt the white was gonna clash too much with my white fence and the vision that I have for the space, but I think the black looks perfect. I don't have it placed exactly where I want it. Oh, it's starting to really sprinkle. Let me try and at least get the intro done quickly today. Um, oh, I don't know. It's really coming down. Anywho. I do plan on leveling this out and spacing it and then also over here don't mind miss jade today is my last day with her you guys actually i will be taking her to my cousin's house to live permanently back home in virginia so you guys will see her running around in this video but anywho i did also plant my hydrangea here this is the new hydrangea for 2023 this one is called Pufferfish by proven winners it is a panicle and it is also in bloom. So it's very similar to the limelight. As you can see, here's what the blooms are looking like. They have like a little bit of a tuft towards the tips. And I just cannot wait to see this one fill in. This one blooms a lot better. The stems are stronger. It does get about three to five feet tall and wide. So I popped this one in so that it wouldn't like start dying out on me, but I am going to be moving this today because it's messing up with my design plan. But I am actually going to run in really quick. I didn't know it's going to start sprinkling like this and I will be back to show you guys what we'll be planting and what my thoughts are for the space. All right and we're back. So the rain has finally stopped at least for now. Like y'all when I say it has literally been downpouring for five days straight it's been so hard to get out here and garden but I definitely want to get this area planted well. I am going to take my time, but I have some plants that I really need to get in the ground. So I'm not sure where I left off, but I think I was talking about this hydrangea here. This is a puffer fish that I'm actually going to be digging up and relocating. I just popped it in the ground so that it would survive, get the roots nice and insulated, but I didn't have plans to keep it here. So that will be moving first. And then let me show you guys what I'm going to be planting. All right, so here are the plants, you guys. These are six hydrangeas that I picked up from Lowe's. They were super wilted at the store, and I literally just went to the cashier and asked her could I have a discount, and she marked them all half off for me. And she also gave me, I think, two others that I got. Yeah, I picked up two others for my coworker, and I already gave her hers. So super deal on these. I'm so excited. I have a whole vision for this back area. I really just want to pack this area out with hydrangea blooms. Y'all know this area over here is my conifer corner. But this area over here, I really want to just pack it out with hydrangeas. So I'm going to pop these in the ground. Let's go ahead and set them out. I'll get them planted and I'll give you some more information about my design and information for the plants. Oh, yay. The sun has finally decided to come out and show its face. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to work.
All right, y'all. So the sun is finally starting to go down and I am officially drenched in sweat. Like it is so hot and muggy out here from all of the rain that we've been getting. I don't know how y'all's weather is, but down here in North Carolina, it is super humid. So I was trying to get this done earlier in the day when this bed is just in complete shade, but Mother Nature decided to grace us with her presence. As you can see, my bench is wet. We just got another shower. So yeah, I was not able to complete the whole project, but I did get the majority of it done. This bed was in sun for about an hour or so, and then it goes back into full shade. So I think the hydrangeas will be happy. So first and foremost, I did move my hydrangea here. It was planted back there in the corner, moved it forward. This is not its permanent location, but I'm happy with where it is for now. And then on the back row, I have a hedge of four hydrangeas, which y'all, I'm so excited about. So I actually got my inspiration from a lady on Instagram. Oh, I can't remember her name. I follow so many people. What is her name? I can't remember. It escapes me right now. If I can find it, I will link it for y'all. But she had a post where she had a hedge of these gorgeous arbovites mixed in with hydrangeas and I just fell in love. So I'm trying to recreate that in my own way, but I was not able to get to planting these two and I actually kind of am okay with that because I really want to find some nice containers, I think, to put these in instead of planting them in ground. So I'll hold off on these two, but my back row, let me... Okay, so here's the tag for the plants that I planted on the back row. They are called Tough Stuff Aha Reblooming Mountain Hydrangea by Proven Winners. Again, they were originally $24.98 at Lowe's. I did get them all half off. I'll insert a picture of what they looked like when I bought them. They were super, super droopy and all the rain that we've gotten, y'all, they have perked back up and the blooms are so pretty. So anywho, they are sun to part shade hydrangeas. They grow two to three feet tall and wide, hardy zones five through nine. So I'm excited about these. They do change color based on your like pH of your soil. So you may have purple blooms, you may have pink blooms, you may have blue blooms. It just depends on how you amend your soil. But let me give you a close up of this gorgeous bloom. Look at that, so pretty. I just love disc blooming hydrangeas. I think they are so unique. I love the dark blue center surrounded around the light lilac flowers, so gorgeous. And then this one over here has several buds still forming and getting ready to open. So I will have several blooms to enjoy for the remainder of the season. I'm just so happy I was able to get my hands on these, y'all. Like I know I said when I created this bed, I did not plan on planting anything. I was gonna take my time, just let it sit, but when I find a deal, I snag them and I got to get them in the ground. So I think they'll be happy back here. These up front in front of them are called Wee Bit Grumpy Hydrangea. Let me pull the tag out for y'all. Here's a look at this one's tag. Also by Proven Winners. And this one grows quite small. So this one only gets about two to two and a half feet tall and wide. Sun to part shade, again, zones five through nine. And this one has more of like a really deep purple bloom really really pretty so i think i really would like to have those sitting up higher in some pots and then i'll come in with some nice stepping stones level out my bench and then i'll have plenty of room to fill in around the gaps but anywho that is pretty much it for this video i'm sorry it was a bit short but i was dealing with a lot of weather today i also need to run in and start packing for my trip tomorrow to virginia i will be taking jade to her new home so say bye to miss jade you guys come here jay Come here, Shay Shay. You say bye to the people. Say bye. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm gonna miss her. Yes, I love you too. You're such a sweet girl. That is gonna wrap up today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for joining and watching as I develop each little area slowly in my backyard. I hope you all are inspired as always. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will catch you in my next one. Peace.